Hey everyone, Braden here for gshelper.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use the merge table value function in Game Salad. Now, this new function is available currently in the nightly builds, which is what I'm using, uh, but the same principles apply when it does actually make it to the stable builds. And there are six, maybe five or six new functions, new table functions, uh, but this video is going to specifically go over the merge function uh, because I really want to make sure that you understand it and see different ideas and on how you can use it. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Now this, I've built this demo project for you. You can download it. I'll put a link in the description of the video below. Or if you're watching this on gshelper.com, you can go ahead and download it there. So first let's go into the tables. And I'm going to go into the merge table. We have three tables total, but first we're going to go into the merge table. I have a total of five rows and five columns. And um, columns one through five each have a letter to spell out the word food, foods. And then row one through five spell out the word fears. And what we're going to do is we're going to merge columns one through five to uh, create the word foods. Now if you're familiar with this before, uh, we have these functions, we would actually have to do table cell value and then uh, plug in the values to get the value for row one, column one, and then we'd have to do another table cell value for uh, row one, column two, and so on. And that, that would be a total of five table cell values just to get this word merged. Uh, for example, into an attribute if you wanted to check this word against a dictionary, uh, if you're building a word game or something like that. Uh, and that was really tedious and it would take a long time, but now it's really easy and so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, just to note though, this does not have to be uh, a text you know, attribute. It could be an integer or whatever, but I think it, it works well as a demo if I just show you how to merge text values. So. All right, let's go back home, and I'm going to go into the scenes, into the initial scene, and I'm going to go into the merge values actor. Now, this first display text behavior really doesn't matter. We don't need that. I just set that to merge so I knew which actor on the screen did what. So we have two display texts. One, we're merging a row, and we're merging a column in the other. So let's start with the row, and there is already... A video out there that kind of shows what the finished um, table merge value function looks like and it, it'll look like something like this but I found it was very different from how the uh, function looked initially when you entered it into the expression editor so what I'm gonna do is kind of explain what this does and then I'm gonna do it from uh, from the beginning so you can follow along and actually see which parts you need and which parts you don't need so you can understand and incorporate it into your game later on so what we're doing right now is we're uh, merging some value in the game.merge table which is the table you just saw a minute ago and we're merging a row we're not merging a column in this one we're merging a row now you might be familiar with the table column count and table row count functions um, they're both separate, so you can either check the row or column count of a table. Um, so they're separate. But this function, actually, you can change out if you want to merge a row or a column. And it's all one function. You don't have to go select, you know, table merge value row or table merge value column. You can just simply either type row or column, depending on what you want to merge. For now, we're going to merge a row. So this is what the expression looks like um, after we're done adding all the values. So let me just go ahead and close that and show you what it does. As you can see, this is the display text right here. It's merging the values and showing the word foods, which if we go into the merge table, is exactly what we want to happen. So I'm going to go back into the actor, and we're going to do this from scratch. So I'm going to turn this other display text behavior off. Um, and you don't have to use a display text behavior. You could use a change attribute if you wanted to merge those values and apply that new value to an attribute. That works fine too. So you can, you know, um, compare it against something else. So uh, we're going to open the expression editor and click the function button and find the table merge values. So this is what the function looks like when you first um, enter it and, and apply it in the expression editor. And it does look complicated, but we're going to break it down. 
So the table part is where we insert our table, just like you would for a table cell value, which is game.merge. So I'm going to enter that. Now here's the row and column. So it can be either. Right now we're going to put row, so we can delete everything except for the word row. Make sure to keep those um, quotation marks. Now target row column. This is a little hard to explain without seeing it. So remember there's a, there's a target row column, there's a start range and end range, okay? Uh, let me go back into the table. Now what we're actually doing is we're merging F-O-O-D-S all in row 1, okay? So the target range we're going to put down as 1 because all of this is in row 1. All right. Now the start range means that we're going to start in column 1 and end in column 5. Even though we're merging row 1, we have to specify that we want to start in column 1 and end in column 5. Now if you, if you wanted to start in column 5 and end in column you know, 8 or 10, you would, you would you know, start range would be 5, end range would be 10. Um, it can get a little confusing, and I got confused at first too because I thought you would just, you know, merge um, row one and it would do all that. But of course, some more complicated games will have uh, a lot of values in row one. You know, you might have five words total in row one, for example. You know, that would be a total of 15 columns. And so if you only wanted to merge a specific value uh, for this example, it's foods, then you would have to specify the row you want to merge, and then also the columns, where to start and where to end. So hopefully that makes sense. So that's what we're doing here. So target row or column, like again, these, these are interchangeable. So if we're, we're starting and we're, we're doing a row right now. So it would be 1, because that's row 1. Start range would be which column do you want to start in, and that's going to be 1. End range is going to be 5, because this is a 5-letter word. Okay, now separator. If you're merging uh, integer values or number values or something like that, you can separate each number or each character or whatever you're merging uh, with something of your choice. Um, so if you wanted to do an underscore, or let's do a period. If you wanted to separate the letters by a period, you would do quotation, period, quotation. So what it's going to do is it's going to add a period after each letter. So it would be F period, O period, O period, and so on. But because we want to merge just the letters and we don't want to have a separator, what we're going to do is we're going to delete that and we're just going to add two quotation marks with nothing in them. Okay? So that means that there's not going to be anything that it's going to separate with. Now, when I was playing around with this, I thought that you could just totally delete the separator bit and it would be okay, but that's going to give you. Um, an error message. So you do actually have to have that comma and then the two quotation marks. Alright, so let me go ahead and enter that. And let's go ahead and display it. I'm going to give it a quick color. And here we go. Foods. There we go. So it works. We're merging row one, but we're starting in column one and ending in column five. So if you're familiar with merging values, like I said a little bit earlier, what you would have to do to accomplish this before we got this new function is go to table cell value, plug in all your information, and add two periods to uh, tell game cell that you're adding a new value, and then table cell value, period, period, and table cell value. So you need a total of five just to merge that word. And that can get really tedious. I remember I was doing an expression uh, where it ended up being about 30, well, I think it was 28, table cell value uh, functions in one expression, and that was extremely long. Um, and it took a really long time and so now that we have this expression I'm sorry this function all you need to do is plug in some numbers and you're done and it's really nice so that's the row so we've completed the row I'm gonna go ahead and give it an offset of 70 just so it's above the actor so now let's do the column columns pretty much exactly the same thing open the expression editor merge values table merge values for table we're gonna do game merge and instead of merging a row we're gonna merge a column so remove everything except for the word call okay um, so for this one I'm gonna keep and save that expression but I'm gonna go back into the merge so I can show you what's going on we're gonna merge column one 
but just like we did for row one, we have to specify which cells we're going to merge. So even though we're merging column one, we have to specify which row to start at and which row to end at. Okay. So back into the display text behavior, target row, we're going to merge column one, start at row one, end at row five, and we're not going to put any separator, so just two quotation marks. Give it a quick color, a quick offset, negative 70, and there we go. So now we have two merged values, and you can use it. It doesn't have to be a set length. Um, you could even, instead of an end row, you could do, um, what are we doing? We're doing a, a merge for the column, which means we would need a table row count. And so you can plug in more table functions in here to uh, get the end column or row that you need, and it'll still work. So uh, there's a variety of different things you can do with these functions. Uh, this video has gone a little bit over, um, but I hope you understand how to use this merge value function, and you can incorporate it into your game. Next time we'll talk about the table search function. This is an extremely powerful function and hopefully we'll be able to get through a couple other of these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.